What up, y'all? It's your guy Dawson from D&D TV. Thank you for rating, commenting, and subscribing. Everybody who's donated, those of you all who will, you know I appreciate it. All that information is in the description box below. Also, go over to my other YouTube channel, Dawson Speaks TV. Make sure you subscribe over there. Now, let's get into this topic. All right, y'all. Thanks for clicking on the video. Hope everyone is doing well. Now, this video is for educational purposes. So as I approach this topic with respect, I need you all to please, please, please be respectful in my comment section. And also, I'd like to give a shout out to all of the subscribers who hit me up, sent your condolences while I was dealing with the transition of my aunt. I appreciate that. I have some of the best subscribers in the world. All right now, this story is coming out of Las Vegas, a place that I love to visit. I think everyone needs to go to Las Vegas at least once in your life. And I know some of y'all going to say, Dawson, come on, you go to Sin City. Look, I'm sure there's more sin in your city. But speaking of sin, <laughs> let's get into the story. A pastor at a women's prison in Las Vegas has been charged with having an inappropriate relationship with an inmate, according to police and court records. Pastor Donald Burst, 55 years old, was booked at the Clark County Detention Center. Court records show that the Nevada's Attorney General's Office has filed not one but two felony counts against Pastor Burst of sexual abuse of a prisoner by an employee and one felony count of unauthorized custodial conduct by an employee. Now, the pastor's defense attorney, Sean Sullivan, stated that the accusations against Pastor Burst are not credible. He went on to say that Pastor Burst is a longtime respected member of the community who grew up in Las Vegas and graduated from high school here. Mr. Sullivan said that he doesn't believe the allegations have any merit and he wants everyone to keep an open mind until the evidence comes out. Now, according to investigators, Pastor Burst would come into the housing location to religiously counsel the woman and other inmates. The inmate told investigators that Pastor Burst eventually started flirting with her and that he discussed furnishing her with small bottles of alcohol and other contraband. Man, y'all can't trust these prisoners, man. Y'all get these people, you get caught up all the time. Don't trust any inmate. Look, according to the investigator, sometime in August 2020, Pastor Burst called the woman inside his office, which is located inside the chapel, with the excuse of providing her with the Bible. Take a breath. <laughs> uh, Pastor, you finna knock her down in the office, man? Come on, got no respect. He's gonna do it in the chapel. Wow. The woman told the investigator that Pastor Burst ended up touching her in a sexual manner. She said that Pastor Burst unzipped his pants, which indicated to her that he wanted her to perform a sex act on him, but she refused. The woman told authorities that Pastor Burst eventually performed a sex act on her on his desk inside the chapel. Take a breath. On the desk, Pastor? Really? I mean, the clean. I mean, did you at least have a handkerchief or a prayer cloth or something to clean up? Like, wipe your mouth. Oh, God, Pastor, I hope this is not true. Let me go on. <laughs> I hope this is not true. The inmate alleged that later they discussed what was necessary before engaging in future sexual encounters. This is where people mess up working in prisons. I tell y'all, don't trust them inmates that go for correction officers, therapists, social workers, anybody who works in there. Don't trust these inmates. Look at here. The agreement included that Pastor Burst would bring the inmate spice, alcohol, and makeup if she agreed to perform a sex act on him or allow him to perform one on her, according to the investigator. The inmate later refused to meet with Pastor Burst as she felt that Pastor Burst was not upholding his part of the agreement. And that's why she told, because you had promised her all of this stuff that you were going to bring in, all of this contraband, and you didn't hold true to what you said. And anyone who's working in a county jail or prison, you all know that if you get into an inappropriate relationship with an inmate, you are the one that's going down. You're going to lose your job. You're going to get arrested because you are the authority figure in that jail, in that prison, not the inmate. Now, before we get judgmental, listen, Pastor Burst has denied the accusations when interviewed by authorities. However, the department issued a statement with the Las Vegas Review-Journal regarding Pastor Burst's arrest, and I'll read that verbatim. 
The Nevada Department of Corrections is aware of the recent summons of Chaplain Donald Burse. The department takes seriously any allegations of this nature. Any alleged criminal behavior will be investigated, prosecuted thoroughly. Due to pending litigation, the department will not release any further details at this time. Now, Pastor Donald Burse is out of custody and his next court date is scheduled for August the 1st. Now, Pastor Burse said that he didn't do it and that the only woman in his life is First Lady Burse, whom he's often on social media with, filming with her and taking pictures, and he calls her his queen. Take a look. Good morning, everyone. Look at the queen over there. Queen, got some encouraging words for the people this morning. God is good. <laughs> Is that all you have this morning, sweetheart? Say bye to the people, baby. <laughs> All right, y'all, let's go in. Look at the lovely couple. You all saw them right there laughing and joking. First lady up there just spending time with her husband. Black love right there. Black love. Now, I just hope the pastor didn't do anything that was stated in the court report, but they will have their day in court. Now, I want to say this because I know there are a lot of pastors and a lot of social workers and correction officers, nurses, people who work in these county jails as well as the prison system. You all have to be careful when dealing with these inmates, the men and the women. A lot of these people are just running game on you. They're con artists. And so many people fall for this over and over again. There are countless stories out there like this. And this is not the first story I've done on a pastor that had uh, an inappropriate relationship with someone in prison. You all remember the Virginia pastor who was working in a men's prison. He was a chaplain as well. And he was sentenced to, I think, four or five years for having an uh, inappropriate relationship with another male in prison. You all remember this story. Pastor Matthew Mellerson up in uh, Virginia, who's serving four years. And it's similar to what's happening in this situation with Pastor Burse. Pastor Matthew Mellerson called a man into not the chapel. They called it the healing room, the healing space, the healing space. <laughs> What kind of healing y'all doing, man? Now, obviously, we know now because you're serving four years in prison. You all have to be careful when you're working with these inmates. Not only working with them, you got to be careful when they come out of the penitentiary. Some of you all are dating them. You're dating the men. You're dating the women. And a lot of them, not all of them, are con artists. They run game on you all. Inside the prison and outside the prison. You all have to be careful out there. I'm just telling you, I don't, I'm not letting nobody mess up how I make my money. Nah, you're not messing, nah, nah, uh, uh. you're not messing that up for me. Not my livelihood, no. No, there's so many people in open society that if you wanted to have a relationship with or a fling with, because a lot of people do it anyway where the brain don't keep nobody committed, but you're going and you're working in a prison. There's cameras everywhere and you trust the inmate? Like, come on, man. They're in prison for a reason. Now I'm off of this topic. Go off in the comments. Let me know what you think about this. Until next time, it's your guy Dawson. Take care of yourself and each other. Peace.